morning and welcome. Our opening song will be, um, <laughs> the verse is on the uh, handout. I've got the verses. Praise to you, Christ our Savior. hoped and longed for. You are the one who speaks to us today. You are the one who leads us to our future. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ, our Savior, word of the Father, calling us to life. Son of God, who leads us to freedom, glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, we want to welcome all of you this morning. We especially want to welcome those who are watching us live stream this morning or who will watch us later in the day recorded. As we celebrate today the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord, let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of your Father, Lord have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Now let us give glory to God. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the 
Almighty, ever-living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son. Grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all you who are, thirsty, who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come, without paying and without cost, drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David, as I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations. So shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that knew you shall not shall <laughs> knew you not shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord that he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows, and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Savior, I will never be afraid. My 
reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is truth. So there are three that testify, the spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now the testimony of God is this, that he has testified on behalf of his son. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. <clears throat> this is what John the Baptist proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. 
He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the baptism of Jesus. The celebration of the baptism of Jesus marks the end of the church's Christmas liturgical season. In today's Gospel, we see John the Baptist fulfilling his role as the last prophet of the Old Testament and the first prophet of the New Testament, as the bridge between the two Testaments. In the first part of today's Gospel, he announces the imminent coming of Jesus. In the second part, he announces his arrival by baptizing him. However, what is most important is what happened when Jesus came up out of the water. The Spirit, like a dove, descended upon him, and the voice of God the Father came from the heavens. You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. The great revelation of the New Testament is that there are three persons in one God. This revelation was implicit at Jesus' baptism, which marked the beginning of his public ministry. This is why we baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The words of the Father are critically important. In the time of Jesus, the Jewish people believed that when the Christ or Messiah came, he would be recognized and accepted by their leaders. This is exactly what did not happen with Jesus because Jesus failed to meet their expectations. The people were looking for a political Messiah, someone who would drive out the Romans and restore Israel to the greatness it had in the days of Kings David and Solomon. On the contrary, Jesus taught that the only true salvation is salvation from sin. Because he challenged their faith and their values, they rejected him. However, although they rejected him, it really did not matter, because at his baptism and transfiguration, God the Father affirmed and validated him. Tragically, this past week, demonstrated that even 2,000 years after Christ, many of us are still looking for a political Messiah. We still have not learned that the only true salvation is salvation from sin, which requires a change of heart on the part of all of us. During the sacrament of baptism, many symbols are used. The most important, of course, is water. Jesus could not have chosen a more perfect symbol for baptism. Just as water washes away dirt, we believe that the baptism washes away original sin. Just as flowing water is life-giving in nature, the waters of baptism give us new life in Christ. In effect, by choosing water as the primary symbol of baptism, Jesus was saying that the waters of baptism are as important to eternal life as physical water is to physical life. Today's reading from Isaiah captures the life-giving qualities of water. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful. Implanted in, in our nature is a thirst for God. At the beginning of the reading, God issues an invitation to us, all you who are thirsty, come to the water. Come without pain and without cost. In scripture, the Son of God is often referred to as the Word. At the end of the reading, Jesus prophesies, 
Isaiah prophesies that Jesus would be life-giving like the rain and the snow. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. My brothers and sisters, sac baptism is the sacrament of rebirth. In today's second reading, St. John tells us that everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. We cannot love God without loving Christ. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Son of God is victorious over the world. We demonstrate our faith and our love for God by keeping his commandments. At the end of the reading, we are told that the Spirit is the one who testifies. When we live our faith and love for God by loving and serving others, the Spirit of God testifies through us. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and look to the world to come. Let us pray that we will be faithful to our baptismal calling and mission. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may God continue to raise up faithful men and women who will respond to his call, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our elected officials, that they may perform their duties honorably and with integrity, while holding a special concern for the least of those whom they serve, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to unrest, and for healing and progress toward unity in our country, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in missions at home and abroad, especially Father Mike Barton, may God bless them with courage and wisdom to proclaim the gospel of Christ and bring salvation to the lost, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us, may we respond to our baptismal call to serve all God's people, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for progress made in the fight against COVID-19 and for an end to the pandemic, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our beloved dead, especially Stella Swanson, Bonda O'Gara, Millie Arvin, and Connie Gill, who died this past week, those visibly remembered here on Christmas Flowers, and Jim Clifford, for whom this Mass is offered, may they come to share in the baptismal promise of new life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty, eternal God, when the Spirit descended upon Jesus at his baptism in the Jordan, you revealed him as your own beloved Son. Keep us, your children born of water and the Spirit, faithful to our baptismal calling as we carry on his threefold mission of proclaiming the gospel, healing, reconciling, and peacemaking, and leading by word and example. Today, we ask you to accept the prayers we offer for our nation. 
by the wisdom of our leaders and integrity of our citizens, may harmony and justice be secured and there be lasting prosperity and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Therese, the little flower, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you with their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Religious art calendars for 2021, courtesy of Shirley Brothers, are available at each of the church doors as you leave today. If you donated a poinsettia in memory of a loved one for the Christmas season, or are willing to take a plant to a shut-in, or care for a plant in your home, please feel free to take one when leaving Mass today. The Christmas decorations will be coming down this Tuesday at 6 p.m. If you are able to help, and especially if you are able to help store the trees and carry them upstairs, please consider stopping by to help out. Also, uh, we still have some of the dynamic Catholic New Testaments available at the doors of church, which was our Christmas gift to you this year. If you or your family did not get one yet, please feel free to take one. We've had three deaths of parishioners this past week. Stella Swanson, mother of Dewey Swanson, died last Saturday, January 2nd. She was 93. Her funeral was Friday, January 8th. So please pray for Stella and her family. Vonda O'Gara, Stella's sister, died on Monday, January 4th. She was 87. Her daughter, Andrea Kreitz, is a member of Little Flower. So please pray again for Vonda and her family. No funeral services are scheduled at this time. Vonda and Stella were typically, when they've been uh, not able to come for the last few years, but for those who've been around for a long time, they really were here usually on Saturday evenings at 5 p.m., and they were always together, the two sisters, and they tended to sit right over there. Connie Gill died on Sunday, January 3rd. She was 95 years old. Uh, Connie was normally attended 5 p.m. Mass also. She always sat right there in the first or second pew at the end. Um, so again, please pray for her and her family. Her visitation and funeral will be in April. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With you Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Our closing song is Songs of Thankfulness and Praise, verses 1 and 2. and praise Jesus Lord to you we raise manifested by the star to the sages from afar branch of royal David's stem in your birth at Bethlehem anthems be to Jordan stream, prophet, priest, and king supreme, and that Canaan.